Hey everybody. Welcome in. Sorry, Sandy. I don't know what's going on with our, our streaming. It's been wonky today. Hey, Lindsay. How are ya? Hey, everybody. Hey, Jason. Hi, Sandy. Oop, oop, oop. Sorry. The rain just kicked up a little bit more here. Hey, Justin. Sorry, y'all. I thought we were good to go, and then we had everything checked out, but uh, today's just not going to be a great heavy streaming day for us so i might just stream for a little bit we'll give you a good rundown of what the houses look like on the wait times um how things are kind of moving crowd level wise what's still available what's still open uh and definitely you know what to do when it rains like there's plenty of stuff to do over here at halloween horror nights at universal whenever it does rain so i'm glad for that sorry everybody it's gonna be a little wonky here Hey, Jenny. I love the name, by the way. Happy to see you, friend. Sorry about this. So when I first came in, The Exorcist was a 45-minute wait. It's now a 60-minute wait. It's not raining so much that I would, like, necessarily need an umbrella, but it's sprinkling for sure. I was looking forward to trying some snacks today and everything, y'all. Man. We'll have to come back out. I wonder if they'll let the Megans come out today. Sorry, Jonathan, if you're there, can you like hide the other streams? Um, just go ahead and delete those so that way we don't confuse the, everybody here. Hey, hey, Ether, how are you? You know, the line for Surfer Boy Pizza isn't that bad tonight. I'm shocked. Yeah, at least it's not a heavy rain. Thank you, Prez. Oop. I just love being here. This atmosphere is incredible. It was raining cats and dogs earlier, so I'm just glad that it let up a little bit for us today. I'm kind of on a hunt to go and find some friends in the VAMP 69 scare zone. So let's go see if we can go find our friends. Believe it or not, I got here when it was still daylight out. I've been trying that long <laughs> to get all the stream up and running. So I'm sorry guys, I was hoping to do a little bit better your wait time in about half uh, it used to be that they were kind of like guaranteeing you 20 minutes or less and they really do try to stick to that rule but uh, whenever it gets really backed up and these bigger wait times and the higher wait times it, it can get a little more crowded 120 minutes for stranger things I'm seeing over in the distance which is a little sad it is it's raining on both coasts isn't that strange okay let's go check out the tribute store let's go check out the merch Oh, I love her teddy bear. That's super cute. <laughs> oh, I 
people love their costumes. I like when seeing, or I like seeing people come and dress up for these things. Super fun. Okay, let's see what we got. I've been on a Chucky kick lately. We we watched the uh, Peacock show finally. Peacock, Sci-Fi, whatever. You know, all three of the streaming services that it comes on. So we were watching it the other night, and I was just laughing. Jonathan and I were like, this is so dumb, but we can't turn it off. And I think that's kind of the magic of some of this stuff is because it is dumb. kind of takes you out of the throes of reality, so to speak. But then you have fun with it and are able to enjoy it even whenever it's a little bit more difficult. Ooh. Just kind of takes you away a little bit. Kind of like Disney, right? Kind of like the Disney magic. Hey, Nancy. Hmm. Sorry, I'm going to pop over here real second. Put my... Uh, Putting the jacket up because I don't think we're going to need it here soon. Okay, so nothing really different here. I was kind of hoping that we would have the little blue pillows back, but I don't know that we're going to get any more back. <laughs> That's right, either. That's really cool. No worries, Stephanie. My bad. We're trying really hard to get everything switched over. For whatever reason, the other stream just did not want to pull up, so that's on me. I think they've added a whole nother row here to these tribute store covers. They're so much fun. I do like them. I should get mine done before it's over. Oh, these are neat. I don't know that we've seen... Oh, the Chucky popcorn buckets are back. Ooh, I think I need one. I think I do need one. Jonathan, do we need one? Is it a good guy right here? Oh, there's only two left. I think we need one. I'm going to get one. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Oh, there's plenty. Plenty of them back. Okay. Lots of really cool stuff. Can you see the chunky popcorn bucket? Yep, do it. We're doing it. I need it. Please tell my husband I need this. Thanks. Justify it for me. <laughs> and he does come with a free popcorn fill. <laughs> Your first one, at least. So that's kind of a plus. Hey, Roberto. I'm doing great. How are you? He is super cute. I know that there's a lot of people that were, like, making fun of him at first, but I actually really don't mind it. <gasps> no! No, this one's already possessed. I did not know that it was going to, like, do its eyes already. No! This is awesome. Okay. We're grabbing a Chucky. This is really happening, y'all. Chucky buckets are cool. Justin, I was telling Amanda I was going to get one. Now today's the day. We're gonna oh, we're gonna do it. <laughs> now I gotta like lug him around all evening, and we'll go get a popcorn refill with him. So this is gonna be fun. <gasps> is that a little boo? No, it's a chunky popcorn. Okay, they've got plenty here. Oh, okay, I need that. Yeah, it's pretty freaky. Like, his eyes just kind of, like, went on their own. I'm kind of wondering if I should trade him out now. Too close. No, no, too late. I'm attached already. <laughs> it's so sad. I'm so demented. Please don't close your eyes again. Oh. Okay. At least he listened that time. So... Where do we put the popcorn? Right in here? Yeah. That's so stinking cool. I'm so excited. I should not be this excited about a popcorn bucket, but I am. And his head is going to hold like nothing. 
there's gonna be like nothing in this popcorn bucket. But he's pretty freaking awesome. I don't know how his eyes blinked because he's not supposed to be turned on. <laughs> That's the problem. Um, there is a button right here. You can actually say, hey, Chucky, and then he's supposed to, like, interact with you there. But, like, his head bobbles and moves, and he talks to you, and his eyes blink. That is a thing. Thank you, Prez. Oh, no, there's a leak. There's a leak in the boat. I know. What if they did talk to each other like the Toy Story? Okay, so... No! It's already going. No! Holy cow. No. I'm thinking I need to swap this one out now. He's not supposed to be on. Was he on already? I think so. Maybe? Yeah, he's on already. Okay, who? Sorry, Chucky. We're turning you off, man. There's only so much horror I can take in one night, and you've hit my limit. <laughs> Stephanie's like, do not take that one home. <gasps> There's a bride shirt, and I want it. Oh. Okay, so in case you all didn't know, the, the Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein are my favorite, like, monsters ever. So... Check the batteries, Jenny. That's exactly what I'm going to do whenever I get home. I don't know, Prez. You and I, we get, Jonathan and I got to live with this thing now. So, for funsies. You think they'll take him back if uh, we have any trouble out of him? I do need him. I'm justifying this. Thank you. Hi. Good. Yeah, just Chucky and all his wonderful menacing glory. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. I got to use my phone, guys. <laughs> and how do we redeem the popcorn refill? Got it. Got it. Did it not? Oh. No, not anymore. I timed out. Sorry. I did not know I needed to do that. My bad. He is. He's coming home tonight. Look at him. He's looking pretty, pretty menacing. Not going to lie. Please. I don't need him turning on in the middle of the house. Yeah. Thank you so much. You said that's going to be at the bottom of the receipt. Oh, perfect. Amazing. Thank you. You too. Okay. Chucky's coming home tonight, y'all. I'm going to freak my kids out, like, legitimately. Jonathan's like, I'm sorry. We're sleeping in be separate bedrooms tonight. Sorry. Okay, so the way he works is whenever you buy the Chucky, you get a souvenir popcorn bucket refill here, right? It's going to have it date stamped and everything, so you can go and get popcorn at any stand. I wonder if I can get Pop Banana popcorn. Yeah, hey everyone, as you're coming in, hit that big old thumbs up button for me. We're going to go try and hunt down some scary popcorn to go in my scary Chucky bucket now. Because I clearly did not need that. Oh, excuse me. Jonathan evicted himself, I know. It's like Big Brother. <laughs> you have the inflatable red ready. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you're, you're going to be the, the guinea pig here. See if uh, he turns on in the middle of the night. All right, I'm gonna go try it. I'm gonna try and get Papa Nana popcorn in here. No promises, but that's what I'm really after is the banana flavored popcorn. And then after that, we're gonna go tour some scare zones real quick. 
Now that they've gotten the Chucky popcorn buckets back, it does give me hope, though, they've got maybe another shipment of the little blue pillows coming back. We'll see. No promises, though. Hey, Queso, I love your name. That is so cool. Yep, banana flavored popcorn. Kathy Q, let's do it. We're gonna go to Pop Banana, get some popcorn. So pretty much most things in Minions Cafe, Minion Land is like banana flavored. You can find some version of a banana flavoring somewhere in pretty much everything. See what we got. Oop, they got those cute little minions, the, the minion popcorn buckets up top. They're super fun. All right, hang tight. I'm gonna see if we can find it. Banana popcorn. It's like a dollar difference. I think we need to see if we can at least pay the upgraded dollar difference for the popcorn. I loved those things. They were so good. So I did get to come to the Minion event and uh, they were so delicious. Hi, hi. Okay, so I have a popcorn bucket fill. Can I use it for banana popcorn? Oh, yes, okay, yeah, cool, thank you. That is amazing. I was so afraid that it would be like regular popcorn. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. Banana. Banana. This is so cool. Okay, so if you really wanna get the best value out of your popcorn, your popcorn buckets, go and get the banana flavored popcorn because it is an extra like dollar, dollar fifty more. Um, but when you buy the popcorn buckets, it does come with your first fill for free on the popcorn, so. Banana! I love it! Thank you so much! Thank you, you too. Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm stupid excited now. Like, this is amazing. Banana! Look, okay. Let me get away. Where can I go? Ooh, nope. That's a no-go. All right, we're gonna go right over this way. Ooh, more Blinky Cups. I love it. Okay, I did not realize that there was gonna be so much here for all of the uh, popcorn. So I wanna give you a good look at the banana flavored popcorn. Everybody here is waiting on minion orders. Okay. So far, Chucky's not turned on. Okay, so when we got the Chucky popcorn bucket, got the refill for free. There it is, banana flavored popcorn. I think you can see at the top a little bit here, it's got that extra coating of the banana in it. So let me turn it around. Okay, so, sorry, I'm gonna set my other bag down. Holy cow, this is amazing. Oh yeah, because I'm the popcorn aficionado. You have to know if Disney popcorn is better or if Universal popcorn is better. Mm. Okay. You ready? Oh, thank you. Um, ready for the verdict? Because I've only had a couple of bites. Okay. I'm gonna let Jonathan taste it a little bit later. But if you're someone that likes candy coated popcorn, caramel, like uh, kettle corn, kettle corn flavoring, it's not coated over every single piece in the popcorn, which is exactly what I was hoping that it would be. But it is coated pretty generously on several different popcorn pieces. So the popcorn flavoring is pretty stiff, like it's a hard coating, um, but it gives that kettle corn type texture. But the banana flavoring, very subtle. So if you've ever had a freeze dried banana crisp, 
like a freeze dried banana slice. That's exactly what this tastes like. It's actually really good. I don't mind it at all. Now, when I normally think of popcorn, I normally think of very buttery popcorn, buttery salty popcorn. Yeah, it's not very overpowering. Jason's like, I got my Oreos. High five, banana flavored popcorn and Oreos should go together. It should be a thing. Um, so between Disney and Universal Popcorn, hey James. Um, I like the banana flavored popcorn. Yeah, it's, it's more of what, I'm going to go more towards caramel or maple. Yep. Um, it's a different kind of taste, but a similar texture that I'm familiar with. So I don't mind it, but at the same time, when I think instantaneously like of popcorn, butter and salt kind of comes to mind. That's what I anticipate, especially with so much of the yellow flavoring, like the, the yellow look to it. So it's just a different um, taste, but literally, this is almost comparing apples to oranges, but I do like the banana flavor popcorn, but if you really hard press me, definitely Disney popcorn. Like, just the classic, regular butter, salted Disney popcorn is fantastic. Um, comparing those evenly across the board between Universal and Disney, I would say that Disney does have the better, regular, like, butter flavored popcorn, so to speak. So, it is what it is, but I do enjoy this banana flavor anything here. I've actually had several of the items from Minions Cafe. I've had that drink that they have. I'm gonna have to have Jonathan get one too. Um, they're not bad, not bad at all. And for the price, it's a pretty generous serving. I've gotten less out of a box of popcorn at Disney than this. This thing is as big as my head. So, it really is. Like, it's a pretty generous serving. So, I can't be mad at it. Um, but I'm gonna have a couple more bites and then we're gonna go hit some more scare zones and, and walk around the park a little bit. So this is pretty nice. Okay, cool. Sorry, I'm probably gonna be like stuffing my face with banana flavored popcorn. Banana! Right, Ether? Legit. I'm gonna take this stuff home and my kids are gonna go bananas for it. Okay, enough with the banana jokes because it is still good. It's amazing. But we've still got so much to see and do. Okay, so wait times here, kinda higher. It is the very front of the park though, so that's to be anticipated, right? It's the very first few houses you're gonna come to. It is starting to get a little darker here, closer to nine o'clock. And that's when people generally start arriving or they've already ate. They've had that first house or two maybe knocked out. A few questions, I'm just allowed to yell. majority of the scare zone. <laughs> Woo! Right, Tiffany? Yeah, don't get too scared. I think you all saw me jump a little a little bit in uh, SeaWorld the other night. That was kind of, uh, kind of unexpected. I'm usually not so jumpy. Ooh. There must have been something fun in that car. Man, they have amped it up tonight. This place is crawling with scare actors. Vampires, I guess I should say. <laughs> right, Levi, it is the best. That smell of the fog, the roar of the crowd. 
that vibration you feel in your like the deepest pits of your soul from all the music it is incredible it's definitely a, a, a different feeling that you have to have appreciated That Fedra line is super long. Hey everybody, welcome in. If you are just now tuning in with us, we're just kind of taking it easy. Going through some of the scare zones here, Halloween Horror Nights. If this is your first time here, we're gonna be out way more throughout the uh, Horror Night season. So feel free to make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that your notifications are turned on because you're not gonna wanna miss any of our nights that we're out here in live. Um, unfortunately, we cannot stream any of the houses, um, so I'm happy to show you anything but the houses and the scares or, or houses and the show, because we can't stream that either. But I certainly wish I could show you the show. It's my favorite part of Halloween Horror Nights right now. You hissing back. <laughs> I saw Amy and Alicia, Jonathan. They're both out together tonight. Can we stream the Lagoon Show? Amanda, that's a great question. And for the first year in a couple of years, we're not seeing a Lagoon Show this year at Howie and Horror Nights. Um, last year's did get damaged by the hurricane from Hurricane Ian. Um, so if you wanna see the very last Lagoon Show, we do have it in its entirety up on this channel but uh, we don't have it any longer they didn't choose to bring a lagoon show back for us this year which is really sad oh so it, i don't feel like there's any difference in watching the stream and actually coming in person as far as the depth of the scariness i know there's probably a difference in maybe your feelings about it but it, it truly isn't anything worse in person than what you're seeing on the screen. Chucky's only a 70 minute wait? That's interesting to me. By the rate I'm going on this popcorn, Jonathan's not gonna have any left to eat. Oh my gosh, I would love to go to Hollywood. I really wanted to go this year and line up Halloween Horror Nights for Hollywood and go through both levels for all the houses but it just wasn't in the cards for us this year maybe next year maybe next year we get a chance to go out and see it we'll see what's my favorite house so far um my favorite house so far, hmm. Universal Monsters. I'm a sucker for the classic monsters, but I really did enjoy Dueling Dragons. I thought it was really well done. And surprisingly, the Yeti house, Yeti Campground Kills, really did do a great job at scaring me this year. There was lots of things up high. There was lots of things down low. That really kind of threw me for a loop um, and, and it had a good storyline like you didn't need a movie you didn't need a full-on story to appreciate what was going on in the house which I really did love because as much as I like the exorcist and the theming is great they nailed it I couldn't follow the story I'm a sucker for storytelling right um, but because I haven't seen the movie yet it's not out yet it was kind of hard for me to follow and the scenes felt a little bit repetitive to me. But then again, that's probably the bulk of the movie. So I'm picking my battles there. <laughs> Have I been to Tower of Terror? Oh, absolutely. You're talking to someone that's literally went down the side of a building. <laughs> there are very few things I will not do ride-wise. So Universal Hollywood is actually built out into two different levels because it is built out on the side of a mountain. 
So the same way that you have a moving walkway here to get into Universal, into City Walk, they have one, but it's more of like an escalator going up and down. busy here tonight. I was not anticipating this. Whoa, I thought that was just a regular someone. This isn't uncommon for this area. It's normally kind of like a bottleneck area because of the skier zone there. What was it, last year they had Crypt TV there? I felt like that was a, maybe a little bit better, lengthier, um, maybe it was two years ago. Scare zone right there. Felt like this one was a little bit lacking. Maybe it's just the lack of the performers there. I want to go visit David S. Pumpkins over there by the Peacock Bar. I love all the different photo ops they're giving everybody this year though. It's pretty neat. I'm glad the rain didn't last though, y'all. I was a little nervous about it. Alright, what do you say we go try and check out a little bit more of the Death Eaters out this way? See what we can do. Find them. <laughs> right. Okay, I should have taken it easy on the banana popcorn because I really did want a butter beer today, but that's gonna have to wait. At least for a little while longer. Are they out today? They are. They're out right here right now. Womp womp. <gasps> there they are. going we must have just missed this show <laughs> holy cow I wonder what time they're gonna come out we'll see I got my popcorn right here, ready and waiting. Oh, here they come. Yeah, I see them. I thought I did. Oh, shit. Oh, up there. 
Oh my gosh! Oh wow, there's so many of them. the wait y'all okay so that little bit of fire is like one second in the show it's incredible that was so worth the wait I love that that was really cool wasn't it I love that they decided to uh, include the Death Eaters inside Diagon Alley this year. It's amazing. Yeah, very cool. Hey, Naomi, how are you? Do you think Islands of Adventure will ever get HHN again? Oh, Levi, that's a great question. Um, I was hopeful when they posted the Islands Lighthouse. And it looked a little like dark and grim, but no, it didn't turn out that way. I was hoping that would be the case though. It just didn't pan out this year. I would love for them to, but they probably will not simply because there's just so much that goes into be basically having to shut down both parks and not making that second park available. Um, because Universal Studios does shut down at five o'clock for regular day guests. So that way they can prepare for uh, Halloween Horror Nights to kick off at officially at 6.30, but then they've got Stay and Scream, and then they've got opening ceremonies at 6 o'clock, so probably not. Um, it would probably take an act of Congress <laughs> to get both of them to shut down and do Halloween Horror Nights again, but I would love to see that happen. Just because I love HHN so much, but in a, and I want it in both parks. <laughs> I don't know that it would be optimal, though. I think it would mainly be just a bunch of scare zones. I don't know logistically how that would work to be able to put the, uh, the houses out into the rest of the park. So, good question, but not sure. Whew. Oh, looks like people are going on into the show too. It makes me so sad. 9.30 is the next show. Let's see what. 
Oh, Rose Justin, you all have to come with us sometime. Legit. Seriously, you all have to come at some point when you can. But you should not be jealous because you're here, at least this way. But I get it. It's not the same as being here. I'm going to say that come October because <laughs> my pass is only good for a few more weeks. Hey, Heather. Awesome. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, Ron's a, Ron's a good friend. We, we like Ron. He's a stand-up dude. Thanks for joining us. Getting ready to see a little bit of, a uh, little bit more of, I guess I should say, of Halloween Horror Nights. Let's go check the wait times. 60, 60, 70, 60. 20 minutes, 10 minutes, 45 for Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts. Revenge of the Mummy has a 35 minute wait time. Yeah, it's not a bad time to ride the rides too, guys. So even if the houses get to be a little bit too intense, 25 for Universal Monsters Unmasked. Oh, I wish I could take you all into the houses. They are so much fun. So much fun. 60 for Dueling Dragons, Dr. Oddfellows, Chucky, Blood Moon, Dark Offering. I also really like Dr. Oddfellows too. I'm one of those weirdos. I, I do like a lot of the or Orlando, like Universal Orlando original houses, like the original concepts. Oh man, yeah, not a bad night. Thirteen more days. Heather, are you coming to Universal, or are you coming to Horror Nights, or are you just going to like Disney? Yeah. So that's the big thing about uh, Horror Nights is. If you plan on doing these bigger rides that you normally might have the kind of wait times that we're seeing for the houses, it's cheaper than a day's ticket to come to Horror Nights and use it for the rides. Rides, the scare zones, maybe the food. Maybe you just want to taste some of the food. Oh, can you see it? Can you see some of the stage over there? Now, our last stream that we did at Halloween Horror Nights, I didn't have great signal. We were towards the top, but I think you can see a little bit of the standby area there. Jonathan, get here so we can go. I love it. So much. I love it. That's true. I agree. I agree. Levi and I could probably go like rounds talking about HHN lore and all. Sorry, I'm going to put the banana popcorn away before I really devour it all. You'll live. It's going to be a thing. I don't know. We might go round back around to Wizarding World of Harry Potter. That was fun. I don't mind to go and see the Death Eaters one more time. Oh no, they're just now starting to let in for the show. Interesting. Oh, what show? Oh, I think that that just hurt my heart. Ah. All right, Levi, one day, you and me, friend, we're, we're gonna have an HA channel. We're, we're gonna like compare stories and theories and everything. It's gonna be great. Looks like we got a few more ghoul juice, electric death still available over here. Nothing too terribly extensive offered over at this bar, but this is kind of the place that you go and grab your drink before you go into the show. So they're not going to have anything totally off the wall for you to grab. Everett, thank you so much. Been a member for two months. Love your streams. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Sarah? And congratulations on two months of membership. That's awesome. Sorry, I'm trying to get my bag down my... And the cart cannot... It's probably very heavy. The cart cannot go near as fast as everybody else can. So this is the entrance to Dr. Oddfellows. And what's weird is you actually go back stage so if you've ever wanted to see universal in the backstage areas yeah, during um, the day no, during the night actually. you're actually gonna round that line all the way back behind men in black alien attack and then the house is actually gonna be closer over on this side than where you actually enter from hey Megan in fact actually Megan now that you are here I'd love to go and see the Megan horde see if we can catch them I'm feeling lucky tonight Oh, cool. The MIB sign is lighting up. I think I could stare at this for a long time. 
I love how they've made all those shooting stars around here and make it look like it was like the galaxy. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Not a bad gig. Oh no, now they've got a runaway cart. They can't stop it. Okay, so one of the bigger IPs of the houses this year, The Last of Us, is up this way. So the trick to this one is you actually have to enter the same line for regular standby and express. So even if you are planning on using that skip the standby line option, you still have to enter the house the same way. You're going to go past one house, actually the house that's labeled right next door to it, the uh, darkest deal. You're going to go past that house down its long corridor. And then once you get back to its staging area, I call them the pins, like the holding pins, like cattle. <laughs> um, you uh, will, will then be able to kind of veer off into Express versus the regular standby line. Let's see, do we have anything different here, merch-wise? Okay, the Darkest Deal has a 45-minute wait. What do we say, 90 for The Last of Us? So probably The Last of Us and Stranger Things for were the two bigger houses that were highly anticipated here this year. Yeah, not so bad. That's a good question, I believe so. Let me see. Does Christmas start here in November like Disney does? It does. Yeah, we'll be out for Christmas too. And then we also celebrate Mardi Gras here and I've been able to stream before, like throwing the beads off of the, the platforms, the the floats so I'm excited to get out and do that again with you all this year it's exhausting oh that one just went up to 55 so the darkest deal just went and hit 55 holy cow oh wow the cocoa fill up is uh, really really busy today I like that they've got all the Halloween decor on the outside of it, like the bats and the cats. Yes, the concerts too, but we didn't really enjoy their concert lineup this year, so we really weren't concerned about getting in for the concerts at Mardi Gras this year. Now what's interesting is that if you're wanting to get in for the concerts going forward with the Universal Passes that used to be made available to everybody, but you do have to have either the premier or the preferred pass to be able to be admitted to those concerts going forward. So they're no longer going to be available to everybody except for those top two tiers of the passes, the annual pass. So if you're on seasonal or um, whatever the purple one is as a Florida resident, you can't get the uh, smaller or you can't get admitted into the uh, Mardi Gras concerts it's pretty interesting what kinds of toys do they have or I guess I should say prizes not toys oh I like this little skeleton guy and then they've got some bats looks like that got little ghosties over there too that's awesome little dragon it's cute we saw a few of the like bigger headed vampires and everything over at the other one this one has some ghosties candy corn okay so they've got different kinds of prizes available oh there's a stay puff marshmallow man oh, so cool. oh there's a chucky i see him over there i'm gonna need jonathan to come and win us a few there's some big old pumpkins I'm not scared of chainsaws ever. One of your favorites is running the chainsaws. Oh, now I want to go find the chainsaws. My older brother and niece came to HHN a few years back. That's really cool, Jenny. Yeah, it's a, it's a super fun, super fun place. It doesn't cost a whole lot of money uh, in comparison to some of the other Halloween type attractions that you can do here. And they're kind of like a one and done. Uh, we've done experiences where they've cost 40 or $50 a person to get in, but there's only one house. Whereas here you get 10 houses, five scare zones, a full on like ma magician, like illusionist fire show, 
Plus all kinds of cool photo ops and the regular rides are open for the most part throughout the night. All for around $80 per night. It's really not a bad deal. And they're open till 2 a.m. When was HHN in both parks? I don't remember the year, so don't quote me on it. But I want to say it was closer to like year 20. It was a while ago. Levi might, might know a little bit better than I can. I love how there's a half a plane in the jungle of Doom Scare Zone. I think Universal might be stealing from Disney because the other half of the plane is in the Jungle Cruise. Yes. So, <laughs> little known fact here, uh, our good friend Mike Eisner, who was part, a very big part of Disney, uh, what we call the Disney Renaissance, really, the building of MGM Studios, which is now Hollywood Studios, used to work for Universal, sat in on quite a few Universal meetings when they were building this very park, Universal Studios, here in Orlando. Uh, so if you see a few things that might look like a ripoff of that concept, go with that idea. It's probably very similar. He probably was very inspired <laughs> from that meeting and subsequent conversations about certain attractions. Um, but I do think that it's cool that in the Jungle of Doom Scare Zone 2, that because you pointed out the plane, like you can see some very obvious calls, call, you know, clapbacks, <laughs> I guess, to Disney. It's pretty neat. Yeah, everybody has fun at HHN. Um, we've been bringing our kids since they were very, very little. They would be here with us right now. In fact, they usually are during the week. <laughs> um, but they, they had some bigger things coming up towards the end of the night. They'll probably be here with us tomorrow, probably Saturday maybe Sunday if they're good <laughs> um, but they love coming they love coming it's it's turned into kind of like a family event for us and we look forward to it every year Ooh, let's go by the premium bar and the mouse ears on the Jurassic Park ride listen Levi yes I'm telling you I wish we could stream the rides it would be so much fun so for those that don't know on the jurassic park river adventure ride in islands of adventure there is maybe a river adventure team member that has a pair of mini mouse ears on their head but maybe not so much skin <laughs> it's pretty cool all right we got twisted taters we got our specialty beverages here okay so still nothing terribly extensive and that's okay I do like they've got like ketchup packets though this year. It kind of keeps everything pretty, pretty nice and clean. We're gonna have to get the twisted taters and tell you all all about them. They're cool. It's hot back here with all these lights. Looks like they're still checking along on all of the uh, kids' own stuff. Is this the line? <gasps> this is the standby line. Holy cow. So it says it's a 35 minute wait, but I don't know that I believe that. It's a Okay, somebody is speaking Wow. Look at this line, you guys. Now, normally there's two, maybe even three houses back this way. In fact, it was last year. Um, but because of all the construction, they've not had a chance to fit as many houses back this way. That's a little disappointing. But I'm glad that they're moving the line along, though. So this one is um, one of my favorites. Universal Monsters Unmasked. So you've got classic Universal Monsters. In fact, that's kind of how Universal started. They, they built the monster as we know it today from the films it's pretty neat so you're gonna see folks like dr jekyll mr hyde hunchback of notre dame uh, phantom of the opera the invisible man all in this house whereas last year they were monsters unleashed and it was wolfman versus the mummy versus dracula pretty neat okay let's go check on the pizza fries because I feel like I need some pizza fries in my life. Ooh, 
So they are not near as busy as they have been in years past. Let's go see. Looks like the line for the drinks is busier than the pizza fries line. Oh, they smell so good. So, so good. I can smell them and I think I'm smelling the sweet potato fries. Oh, they smell incredible. I know, I'm so excited. I hope they do a lot of like year rounded, epic universe, classic monster stuff. Um, we can go shopping. I don't mind going shopping. I'm gonna go find the, ch the Chainsaws Patriot. We're gonna go. I wonder if people eat after going through the houses. We do. You kind of work up an appetite, so to speak. Yeah, all that screaming and jumping and getting your heart racing burns your calories. <laughs> you gotta go put something of substance, substance back in you. Sergio, hi. Loved Universal Monsters Legends Collide. Oh, Sergio, it was my favorite house last year. In fact, I think the team members all voted it as the best house for last year. Oh, man. Did he run into somebody? He did. He ran into him, I think. Whoa. Oh, sorry. I don't know that he was necessarily from anybody. This is like all original. Ooh, concepts. Go, go, go. This is so cool. I love seeing everybody going through the scare zone. Oh man, I just passed that one and I didn't even realize they were a scare actor tonight. Kawaii. Hey, John. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys in on it. I was being hit by the sleeve of my jacket, and I was like, there is somebody trying to get really, really close to me right now. It did kind of freak me out a little bit. It was just my jacket. That is the one thing I don't like. I don't like people in my space. I'm, I'm a little, little much of a, a bubble person for that. I do, I do like a few inches out from in front of my face. Look, everybody's streaming is all here. <laughs> That's so cool. I told Jonathan I really want this hat too. I don't have the hair for a hat tonight, but I'm gonna get you a little boo hat. It's gonna happen. I do like all the little boo stuff. And that shirt's pretty cool too. <gasps> I hear the chainsaws. Theme park assemble, hello. Get out of my grill, listen, yes. Don't get in my space person, for sure. How's the food this year? That's my favorite part. Oh, John, I've only had, <clears throat> uh, I've only done the taste of uh, terror for the before HHN event in August. It was incredible. 
I thought the food was great um, when I was able to taste of it. They were very inventive with the stuff they did do, but I would like to show it to you guys. So one of these streams will come a little earlier in the afternoon so that way we can grab a few things, have them on hand and ready for you so that way we can show them to you. Or we'll put together a vlog so that way you don't have to sit, like, sit through us chewing and everything <laughs> uh, and tell you a little bit more about it. Everett, where's your friend? I'm gonna go real slow through here because I love this scare zone. This is typically one of the better scare zones too. It's pretty lengthy. And this one's the dark zodiac. Cancer, yes. Look, they're running. Again. Like a turtle. Hello. I'm going. Oh, is this Scorpio? It is. She's fabulous, by the way. Ooh, look at the dark zodiac masters here. They're so cool. I love all their costumes. Was this Gemini, the two faces? It's gotta be. No idea who that is, Taurus? Maybe? I don't remember going around this way. Ah, oh, Scorpio, you're going around the wrong way. Look at her, she's so pretty. It's fabulous, I love it. Oh, Kathy, that's why you're here. I know that guy is on a mission. Yes. Oh no, Stephanie, no, don't be in the basement with the laundry, I'm sorry. I miss basements. They held all of my things. Now I have no basement. What's my favorite Zodiac costume? I'm so conceited because I'm an Aries. So I'm gonna say the Aries. But I do love Scorpios and the Leo costume up here. Incredible. Sagittarius, maybe? Ooh. Gotta learn my signs a little bit better. Who is that one? Aquarius. That's so cool. Yes, Aries. Very cool. I'm like the Aries Pisces bridge. But I want to say I identify more as an Aries because I'm right there on that cusp. Oh, the 50th anniversary in Orlando is going to be insane. Woo! I think she's Aquarius, if I'm correct on that. <gasps> Dr. Oddfell is on the stage. We're having some good luck tonight. Does the smoke show that it's a scare zone? Yeah, there's just kind of like a lot of like smoke and fog everywhere. That's why like you, you'll hear a lot of people that come to Howling Horror Nights, you'll see them say, see you in the fog. 
because there's so much of it around you can't like miss it you can't get around it so the fog is where we are it's where we gather Who wishes to live forever? Woo! My friend, what would you do with the gift of everlasting life? You would come to horror guys all the time. What might your name be? Javier, you would be a fascinating immortal. You too can be as this one. All you need to do is conquer fear and give me but one simple thing, your soul. A fair price, don't you think? Who here is willing to give me their soul? One close, my dear. What oh, that was an immediate? Now, facts I'm curious. What side are you? The Capricorn. I do love a good answer. Yeah, wrong wonderful, doctor. <laughs> wonderful people. Well, thank you for visiting us until your busy schedule. I know how difficult you all were. My dear, you wish to be immortal. You wish to join me. You'll give me your soul. So we have a deal. We have our first immortal of the night, everyone. Woo! I'll see you soon, dear, to collect. My friends, you too can be as she is. Go inside and see the horrors unfold. Now some of you may not survive, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> Enjoy your night, my friends. I'll be seeing some of you very soon. <laughs> Woo! Oh my gosh, I love Dr. Oddfell as, a, as an icon. He's incredible. I'm just now realizing that all those people were probably posted up for the uh, Megans. So I'm kind of wondering if we can run back and look at the Megans. Bum, 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 bum. Bye. Hello Kitty, right Kawhi? We love Hello Kitty here. She's such a versatile icon. No worries, Lindsay. I figure we're gonna see several pumpkins here soon, so no worries at all. We'll be back out tomorrow. Woo! <laughs> that one got me. How do you and I can't remember the ones without messing everything up? I don't know. Rehearsing. They're just gifted. They speak from within. They're the icon for a reason. I wonder if the Megans are out. Or have they been out already? No idea. It <laughs> got you. Kawhi, did he get you too? Oh my God. I didn't have to rev up the chainsaw. <laughs> they were done already. <laughs> we may have missed the Megans, y'all. So is this not so scary because it looks like downtown LA? Listen, Ron! <laughs> it's really not so scary. <laughs> I'm trying to tell everybody that Halloween Horror Nights has this stigma attached to it that it is like frightening, like knock your socks off. 
but they've really done a great job at trying to create a pretty wholesome atmosphere, really, for everyone to potentially try to enjoy. Also, hey, you should be out here too, friend. I know you had a pretty long day, though. Hey, Jay, how are you? Hanging out with us for a little while for Horror Nights? Aw, shucks, I think we missed the Megans. Womp, 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 womp. I hate this, I always miss the Megans. Don't tell me the Megan Hoarder's actually out there dancing right now. I'm trying to let myself have the element of surprise, but I'm not getting very surprised. Or I'm I'm surprised to the point that I'm not finding them. Was I here at the 2010 event? No. I would have only, I don't, see. No, I don't think I was here at the 2010 event. <laughs> the lights are messing with you yeah they're a little disorienting but I think that's on purpose too I was wanting to go back in through the tribute store, but they were so busy earlier. I hesitate to try to go back out there when they were so busy, but I don't know if that's a really bad, or that it's gonna let up. Yeah, you can definitely take pictures with the uh, scare actors. The only thing that they ask though, is that you don't take any pictures with them with a flash. Cause they're there to do a job. A, we don't want to blind them. And B, you don't want to take away from the atmosphere, right? So while you might not be as scared of them, they do have a job to do. They are supposed to be scary. They want to protect that image. That's the only thing they ask. So if you were watching the um, Wizarding World of Harry Potter when we were seeing the Death Eaters come out, they were kind of a little agitated when that lady kept trying to like take a picture of them because her flash was on. I don't know that she realized she didn't need her flash on or wasn't supposed to have it on or maybe she just realized and like didn't know. But... Uh, yeah, same thing with Disney, like, just not shine the flashes in their eyes, and we're cool. The, the music is great, Sergio. They've got some really good ones this year. Go see Tom Hanks, a.k.a. David S. Pumpkins. Listen. I wanted to so badly, but my signal did not hold there the other night. And everybody was like, get out of there. Get out of there. We're going to lose the stream. So I would totally show you. I'm going to have to go and record him and then upload it for you all later. Oh, we got a sweet Caroline. Oh, here comes another group from an RIP tour so anytime that you see those batons in the air kind of waving around there the lights that means that a VIP tour guide or as they're known affectionately here for Horror Nights an RIP tour guide is leading the way for their group so you can pay I think it's roughly around $330 per person don't quote me on that the price does fluctuate it's dynamic pricing um, so as the season gets closer to Halloween, as the demand gets to be more, um, that pricing fluctuates and they uh, will take you on a VIP tour where they take you around all the houses. You get skipped to the very front of the lines. You also have a dedicated lanyard, special seating for the show. They're going to make sure that you see everything there is to see here, including the Megans and the chainsaws, all the scare zones, all the houses, and you're even gonna get free reign of all of the uh, food for the night that you can taste at any of the food booths unlimitedly. It's a great deal. 
No worries, Kathy G. I know. Bye bye, money, right? Goals. Goals. I will go on an RIP tour one day. One day. So I know the legend of the Darkest Deal. It's an old blues story. I know all about it because I'm a guitarist too. Very cool. Good night, Kathy. What? There was a guy dressed as David Pumpkins and the Yankee Candles. That's really cool. <laughs> and then you also have people that may have had one or too many drinks. But it's all in good fun. I was hoping to catch the Megans. Not seeing them coming out. But I do see an RIP tour coming down this way, so. Louie's is still open for pizza in case you want pizza uh, and needing something a little bit more than just the food booths. There's also Richter Burger that's open with burgers, fries, things like that, milkshakes. Mel's is normally open, Mel's Drive-In, which is Mel's Die-In during Horror Nights, but they are closed right now for refurbishment, so they do have a food booth uh, with a few tastier options. And Minions Cafe is open through most of the event as well. like he's cooking a stew. <laughs> oh, she's, you're gonna cover me? Okay, all right, get it. No! She was covering us and she got swept up. Yeah, it was just peace, love, blood. A little bit of vampire venom. Look, our girls dancing over here in the sun. Well, moon. <laughs> that was perfect. She smiled and then like all her things were hanging out. Hey, Antonio. Oh, I'm so glad that you're here. Absolutely, yeah. Um, so not everybody knows like the proper etiquette to respect the scare, scare actors and to allow them to continue to do their job and do it well. We wanna make sure that we're being able to support them, <laughs> but doing that in the best way possible. So there's a right way, there's a wrong way. We always try to honor our scare actors the best we can. Cause without them, we could not have these events. Hey guys, if you just joined us, welcome in. We're out on night 10 of 10 for Halloween Horror Nights this season. If you're newer here, please make, woo, he's telling us to get out. Um, but if you're just now joining us and it's your first time finding us, hey, we're glad to have you here. Consider hitting that subscribe button. Make sure that your notifications are enabled so that way you don't miss a beat of any of our adventures, including when we're back out here, probably this weekend. <laughs> Would love to bring you along. Did I go into the Chucky house? Yeah, I've done all the houses multiple times. Chucky was good. Chucky was one of my favorites and I wasn't anticipating it to be a favorite. Let's go take a look at some of the uh, house wait times this way. 60 minutes for Dueling Dragons. 45 for Yeti Campground Kills. Now, unfortunately, I can't stream any of the houses for you, so that kind of stinks. But it is pretty exciting to be able to bring you along for the general atmosphere here. We tried some of the Pop Banana popcorn, picked up a Chucky popcorn bucket that totally freaked me out because it was apparently turned on and I thought it was turned off. Hey, Ethan. It's your favorite house, Jay? Oh, very cool. It was a good one. It was not one that I was putting a whole lot of stock into, but it turned out being pretty good. Pretty high on my list. 
only 60 minutes for Stranger Things. And look, now everybody's getting in line because it was 120 minutes. I think I'm going to turn around now because other than Exorcist, there's really not another house. Oh, and Blood Moon. Um, really not a whole lot scare zone wise going on that way. And then I want to try to see maybe one more time if we can see the Megans. Because I've never had a chance to see them in their entirety. I caught like the tail end of their performance and got a picture with them. But I've never had a chance to actually go and see them in full. They must have had a buffet going on over there because they were all gathering to one place. But also I get it as far as streaming it um, because it does kind of take away from the thrill, right? The surprise. So I totally get that. Uh, and that's why we do vlogs too. 70 minutes for Chucky, ultimate kill count. Holy cow, that's a lot. This is definitely a night that you need express if you're going to get through all the houses. What is the Megans you keep talking about? So the Megans are the Megan Horde from the movie Megan, the uh, robot that essentially takes over for the android device that the ant builds for the little girl. And she becomes smarter, faster, stronger, more capable and starts going on a homicidal rage. You haven't seen the movie either? Oh, so good. It's a good movie. I wasn't expecting much out of it either. It was actually a pretty decent movie. Okay, I'm going to have to research this and actually know when the Megans come out. Somebody's going to spill the beans somewhere on the online. I have to search Reddit or something. They usually go between that spot and then this one right up here in front of males, but I don't see them. Yeah, my kids have been coming since they were that little. It's a good one. <laughs> How have my kids been? They've they've been great. Rocking and rolling, you know, school's back in session now, so they're busy. They also like to be out with their friends. You might see them occasionally on the streams or on the videos. Um, Devin was supposed to go with me, and Jonathan was too, to Howl Scream, but we had family in, and um, we had already left them quite a bit to come out and stream and do some other stuff, so they just sent me by my lonesome out to Howl Scream. So we'll, we'll probably make a, a, another round out there later in the season so that way they can go out and experience with with us too very cool jenny yeah horror movies are great i love them it's kind of like reading me a bedtime story i'm one of those weirdos look at rip ride rocket going up i love riding that ride and they just changed a few of the songs too I might take you through the Universal store so we can see a little bit more of the merch and it's not so dark. It's probably gonna be near as crowded, you know, just as crowded, but 
probably just not near as dark as everything else. Let me check my battery here. No, I totally get it, Ethan. It's not for everybody. I think that's how a lot of people make it through Horror Nights is they're like, okay, so this ride is open. That Minions Cafe is open. I can go and pick up a treat here. Like, it's not so bad. But then there are some people that are like, oh my gosh, like, this is awful. What did you get me into? There they go. And I will tell you, that drop is a little sketch. I'm not gonna lie, look at it. Woo! There they go. So I haven't had a chance to do some of the new songs. My kids did though. Um, the first night we came out to Horror Nights and they tried out a few of the new songs and they liked them fairly okay. They just wish they were different parts of the songs like they we really love the song selection we just wish there was different parts of the songs that were being played than just like the first of the black parade like a little bit further into the song 45 minutes for the exorcist believer i'm getting really excited for that movie to come out hey tara There's only a very select few movies that have ever really rocked me to my core. And only one that like really kept me up all night. Um, but it's not something that you would think that it, it would be, so. Right, Leva said for the, uh, the uh, RIP tour, it should be a requirement to go on Rip Red Rocket. Yeah, I think they give you the option in case you want to. Um, I've done the holiday VIP tours. You can check those out as well, but they do give you an option to go and ride a ride during the holiday VIP tour. Oh wow, 65 for Blood Moon Dead Offering. Or Dark Offering, sorry. I always mess up that title. Blood Moon Dark Offering. It's kind of like a spin of Children of the Corn. It's kind of neat. Hey Kim, how are you? Oh no, just went up to 80. Holy cow. They're really getting higher on these wait times. Alright, let's go shop for a little bit. Not that I need any more stuff, right? I want these. Whatever these window coverings are, I want them. When they're done with it. What, Levi? You're welcome, Kim. Thanks for hanging with us. Ooh, got buttons. Oh, more Chuckies. Tis the season. Yes. Yes. I think it was Kathy Tillman that got me a uh, shirt last year for Christmas. And because I don't do Christmas, it's not like really my celebrated holiday. It's a ugly Christmas sweater pattern. It says, uh, I prefer Halloween. It's incredible. And I love that shirt. I almost wore it today. <sighs> Look at all the Chuckies. Hi, Chucky. Are they on? I was hoping they would all like turn their heads and like look at me. They must have gotten a like super big shipment in. Y'all, I'm telling you, this new Minions Villain Con experience, the ride, it's really, really cool. And I'm not just saying that. It's actually a really fun, I'll, I'm going to call it an attraction. I don't like to call it a ride. Because you stand through the whole thing. It's like a conveyor belt. It's pretty neat though. Let's go around. Now a lot of the stuff you're gonna say, oh, we've already seen that, it's repetitive. It is. Cause there's only so much that they have, but I think we've seen a lot of it already. So this is like a fog scented candle. Let's see. I'm gonna turn it around so you can see. Hey Ken. Hi everybody. Oh, they did a Michael Myers house last year. So this is the See You in the Fog official candle. There's a little bit of it right here, somebody. So it smells like a spiced apple, kind of. There's a lot in this candle, though. It's a lot bigger than it has been in years past, so it's pretty cool. 
Oh, it's Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Sorry. A lot of their shirts this year, too, are glow in the dark or black light reactive, so I really do like that. And most of their shirts also come with the sleeve kind of embedded to where they have the like year for the, yeah, candles. Tara, candles. Sorry, my screen protector is ripping on this side by my camera, so I apologize. It's, it's going to be a little wonky there. Oh my gosh. No, I have to show this to you. Okay, ready? Okay, I was looking at all this. Does this not remind you of Mars Attacks? The aliens in the Mars Attacks? Is that not the coolest thing in the whole wide world? Mimi? Yes. Yes. I love it. Now this is very much a like knock off Jack the Clown. Somebody mentioned Jeepers Creepers earlier. I think this is the Creepers mask. Got the mummy. I keep calling these their nose rings. Their septum piercings, but it's their devices to like keep them here and not so they don't so they don't sprout legs and go somewhere else. Got lots of Hellfire Club merch. We got earrings, we got necklaces, patches, headbands, lots of cool stuff. Very, very neat. Oh, here's more candles. Alright, this candle is the Howie and Horror Nights scented candle. Were the world was as scary as you do? I'm sorry. Okay, so scent a candle. Or this one's a little smaller. I don't know that I can smell it through this one. It's kind of nice and clean. Let me see. Okay, so I found out that there's a trick to these. You can't just take the tops of them off. You have to actually, like, unscrew them. Ta-da! Okay, so this is what they look like on the inside. They're big, thick, wicked candles. Oh, this one's a nice, clean smell. So, very fresh, very um, laundry detergent-esque. It's really nice. But I think that one sort of smells more like the fog than the fog one does, which is kind of different. Let's screw the lid back on this. Come on, lid. Okay, I think that's the end of that. They don't have as much stuff here as I, I thought that they would have in the uh, tribute store. I wonder if Five and Dime has a little bit more than the last time we were out here last week. Okay, cool. Let me go this way. Oh, they've got one of the maps out. I always forget to stop and pick up a map. I probably should be stopping and picking up maps, but I just don't. I do love that they've got a few cast members working the entrance out this way. They don't normally, so it's a good difference here. Is the is this stuck? It said nightmare fuel doesn't happen until 8 a.m. Did they call the rest of the shows for the night? Eight p.m. Interesting. What time is it? Oh, it's almost ten. Nine fifty two, thank you. I can't believe I've been here for woo, multiple hours and not even step foot in the house. This is so sad. I think the guy needs some medication, his eyes are popping out of his head. Yes. Let's go through five and dime. I 
love their masks this year. That's so cool. Look at the Leo. <gasps> Fierce. So fierce, I love it. She's like, no, 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 no time for that. Check for the Megans, yes. I'm telling you guys, the hunt for the Megans is on. <laughs> she did not like being chased. Sandy, are you scared? Look, the $600. I don't see the Megans out here. I don't know, I could be wrong. Oh well. The $600 Chucky, $650 Chucky. That's like the one from the series right now. That's as good guy doll as it gets right now. Holy cow. Look at the little boo. The trick or seek pumpkin seeds. This is way cool. Look at all these. Man, I would pay some mad money. Oh, no way. <laughs> way, Stephanie. I would totally do it in a heart. Frank. Couldn't pay you $650 to take it to your house. Couldn't. That price is the more terrifying part of it, right? Look at the gremlin. Oh! <gasps> It's a gremlin from the movie. Holy cow. I want to see it. Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. Brain, stripe, gizmo. Cool gizmo there. I like these shirts too. These are pretty cool. 3D. I wonder if you put 3D glasses on, if it would yeah, probably so. They're pretty neat. I do need the Frank and Bride figures. I do. We need to talk to somebody and make that happen. I would love to make that thing. You saw that movie, Gremlins? They're pretty good. I decided to change bags out tonight, y'all, and not lug around my Disney purse. Oh, no, that's somebody's water bottle. And I don't have room for my massive rain jacket now, so that's sad. Look at the cancer, the crab. They come out and they do a dance. They don't say anything to you, but they do dance. It's great. I bet you they're out right now. I just don't see them. Flash mob! It is. It's like a miniature Megan flash mob. It's exactly what it is. Night, Nicole. Oh, this is my jam. And so during the day, if you have a day ticket, they've recently started doing something called Unmasking the Horror. So if you're too scared to come to Horror Nights or you're just a really big Horror Nights buff like me and you want to know more about the houses, maybe the backstory, maybe the, maybe the creative genius that went into planning them and, and prepping oh. them and actually bringing them to life, this is the tour for you. So they offer a tour in a six house and 
no, I'm sorry, a three, six, and maybe an eight now. House, um, there are two of them that they won't do. Can't remember the full breakdown. But anyway, there's a lower house and there's a higher one where they take you through more. Pricing varies between the two options, obviously. But uh, they'll take you through the houses. You can't record any video. You can take as many photos as you want, though. And then the uh, team members are happy to tell you about every, you know pretty much all that went into creating the house and they pretty much start building these houses right before this event ends so i would say probably first of october like they give themselves a couple weeks pat on the back and say job well done and the first part of october they say okay let's hit the ground running let's go ahead and start planning this out because it takes some time to not only what we call strike the sets that means take them down all the houses and everything but then also plan for the next year and see what's reusable, what's not, how they can make this work or that work and how they can bring this to life. And is, is that gonna fit into the theme or, or whatever it is that they have going on that year. So it's really a neat creative process to kind of follow. And it's interesting that they're able to do so much in such a short time. Shipyard 32. Holy cow, what is he? A rat? Sailor or something? It's interesting. Just slithering on through here. Dr. Finkelstein. He's my favorite. Oh no. I don't know. Maybe he let them all escape. He might be the one that we need to watch out for. Let's head up to the Wizarding World. I think we're pretty good here. We got this. Yep, the uh, ones with the light up wands, as you see like the yellow coming through right here, those are the leaders, the team members that are leading the VIP tours. So that whole group right behind them is going to be the people that have paid to be on those private tours. Now they have an option where you can join a group that's a non-private tour. That's the cheapest option. I think you can have up to six people from your party in the same one before they bump you up to a private tour. Um, but you can pay a little extra and have a private tour. Uh, we actually were out here the other night and we saw an influencer and her husband out and she was all dressed up it was incredible but they had paid for a very super private vip tour rip tour it was just the two of them i think the show just let out and then they, because they are keeping in character they dress up in the uh scrubs as well now the holiday vip tours typically aren't near as much i think they were 119 last year maybe 89 the year before that um, but they also get like front of the line access or a specific area. Well, no, sorry. Two years ago, they gave you a specific seating for the Macy's Christmas Day Parade, like the Christmas parade that goes through uh, with all the floats. But last year, they didn't do that. They had us line up <laughs> well before then. 
Um, but then you got to see a special seated area for the Grinchmas show. You got milk and cookies with the Grinch, photo op with him and Max. Uh, got to go and see the Hogwarts castle light up at night after everybody was kicked out of the parks and get your own butter beer, but you had to pay separately for that. It was so cool. Oh, Kawaii, I hear you. The Death Eaters are incredible on their own alone. Are they back out? How did we look up on this? That's okay, we got to see it a little earlier. So if you're on mobile, you should be able to rewind the stream. <gasps> Here's one. Here they come. There's another. Oh no, everybody's pointing their wands at them. All this dark magic all around. Is there more over this way? I can't see the lights messing with me. Right, Levi? I know. For sure. Oh no, here they come. They're so graceful. So sad. Oh, they're trading bracelets. That's what they were after. There's more back through here in Nocturne Alley. Okay, yeah, I think we're ready to go. Get right on out of here. She's got her wand with her and everything. She's ready to go. <laughs> the bricks are moving. 
think the Leaky Cauldron is still open too, in case you're wanting to eat something from there. All right, everybody. I know it's getting late. Things are kind of winding down, but I think at this point, we've seen pretty much everything there is to see, minus the Megans, wherever you are, Megans. Um, but I'm really excited that you all were able to get out and join me again for another round of Halloween Horror Nights. I hope that this is kind of breaking me in, breaking the ice a little bit, and maybe you'll come out and join me one day. So thank you, Mod Squad, for hanging out with us tonight. Thank you, Stephanie and Sandy and Jason for holding down the fort. Uh, if you are newer here, thank you so much for joining. Make sure you hit the subscribe button that you're going to join us for more adventures. Yeah, Jonathan's going to be out at Epcot tomorrow, weather permitting and our stream tech gods permitting. <laughs> Uh, but thank you all so much for hanging with me tonight. Hi, Linda. Thank you so much for joining us. And we'll see you guys really soon. We'll catch you guys on the next ride. Bye, everybody. Bye. I got a show to catch. So, what, 15 more minutes? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Bye, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow for the weekend. Bye. Oh, I'm going to leave you with this. The shrunken.